Hello, sailor. Bait your hook for you. You look ridiculous. I look adorable. No one ever told me that if you fish, you get to buy an outfit. I'll do just about anything if I can buy an outfit. And they're memorable. Most people are very forgettable. And they're happy. They had their cats. And their raccoons. And their pretty house. And each other. Add a few years and they're us. Yeah. Get out! You're making me go! Yeah. Were you asleep? Uh, no. Then why are you in your pajamas? These aren't pajamas. You wear that in public? <sighs> Hi, Mom. Would you like to come in? <sighs> you had the word juicy on your rear end. Uh, well, if I'd known you were coming over, I would have changed. And to what? A brassiere with the word tasty on it? I'm completely jazzed. How about you, Mr. Potato? I'm completely jazzed. Too. Why are you so cruel to Mama? What did you just do? What? You put the cookie down. Yeah. You ate the cookie and then you took the cookie out of the box and put it where the cookie you just ate was. Yeah. Well, that's nuts. Or you made this for me. I don't want to ruin it. Then why'd you eat the cookie? Because I wanted a Malamar. But why didn't you just eat one out of the box? This one was right here. The box was all the way in the cupboard. But you had to go to the cupboard to get the box to replace the cookie you, you ate off the table. So? <laughs> so, Lorelai. So, Dad. I have something for you. Is it a hat? No. Is it a purse? No. Of course. Lorelei. We could buy a boat. We could. But why? Because rich people always have a boat. We could park it in the front yard. Yeah, like white trash rich people. Emily, hi. <laughs> that's nice. That's very high school. Stick with me here. Good to see you. Yeah, that's funny. You know, you know who's behind you? It's Joseph Stalin, my good friend. What are you doing back from the dead, Joe? Lorelai. Oh, mom. Oh, geez, you scared me. You heard Suki greet me. Yeah, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> like comparing me to Joseph Stalin. I, I don't have a vase. You do this every year. I don't have vases. Buy a vase. Yeah, but I don't need a vase because I never have flowers. Except when we bring you flowers every year at Thanksgiving. Buy a vase. Stop, Stop bringing, bringing me flowers. flowers. I knew you were going to say that because you say the same thing. We have the same exact conversation every year. And every year you point that out. And every year you point that and out. And every year you point that out. And then every year we put the flowers on the counter and forget the ugliness ever happened. Well, at least we have a tradition. Good. I'll be right back. It's our table over there. This is just wonderful. And education is the most important thing in the world, next to family. And pie. Joke. <laughs> Joke. Ah. You're happy. Yeah. Did you do something slutty? I'm not that happy. <laughs> You're putting me in the kitty lake? Gotta crawl before you can walk. Well, this is not at all embarrassing. There's not even fish in it. Trout. Hey! Oh, they're so cute. Hello. Hi, boys. I look, they're all ooh, like they're singing a little trout choir. I wouldn't get too attached. I don't want to sleep with you. <sighs> Did you tell her I don't want to sleep with you? Well, put her on the phone. I'll tell her I don't want to sleep with you. Well, somebody has to tell her I don't want to sleep with you. Why are you insulted all of a sudden, Stanley? <gasps> oh, wait. Are you <laughs> Penn and Lynn Lott, my dad's college sweetheart? Yes. <laughs> You're my almost mommy. Well, I suppose you could put it that way. I'm so glad to finally meet you. Let me ask you something. Would you have let me get a pony? Did you ever know that you're my hero? Oh my God. You're everything I would like to be. And I could fly higher than an eagle because you are the wind beneath. It's six o'clock. I know. On Saturday morning. That's right. It's six o'clock on Saturday morning. Do you want to wear docks or sneakers? I want to wear slippers. Up, please. Rory, my heart, it is Saturday, the day of rest. Sunday's the day of rest. No, Saturday's the day of pre-rest. Pre-rest? Yeah, so that way when you actually get to Sunday, you're rested enough to enjoy your rest. My mother was here. What? My mother, she was here, I can feel it. Grandma hasn't been here. Smell that? Smell what? The room. It smells like guilt and Chanel number five. Tomorrow night is usually movie night. What? Rory and I would always rent a bunch of movies, order food. It was our thing. Now she's at school and busy, so why don't you come over? It might be fun. Okay. Yeah? Sure. What else have I got to do? Ah, oh, I love when men say that to me. Exciting, uh oh, Mr. they're in the audience. Ow. I, I, I hate it when they come the audience. This, this is not good. I hate finals. Nobody likes finals. Thank God I'm graduating and this is the last time I have to cram like this because my pursuit of higher education has led me to a very interesting discovery about myself. Do you want to hear it? Sure. I despise academics. Yep, 
learning, knowledge, it's all worthless. I have no idea what you see in any of it. Lorelei. Mom, I know I can't have it in the car. It will not be in the car. Is that everything? Yes, I think so. All right, then. Let's get this show on the road. Now let's see you drink it. Good to the last drop. Hey, tomorrow, if you have time, I'm planning on despising everyone who says, hey, how's it going? I'm sorry, can you bring me a sharper fork? I'm not sure this one will go all the way through your hand. Hey, I have a huge dilemma that I need your opinion on. What? Am I more beautiful today than I was yesterday? Oh, boy. I'm just not sure. I mean, at first I looked in the mirror and I thought, well, yes, definitely huge improvement. Can I have my pillow back? But then I thought maybe it's not that I'm more beautiful today. Maybe I was just as beautiful yesterday, only I lack the self-esteem to recognize it. Oh God, look at this place. It's a sty. No, I'm crabby. I'm crabby and useless. Ugh, stupid fridge. Stupid fridge, guys. I hate my life. Is it right to be sampling wedding cakes when Suki's making ears for food? What is right, anyway? You know, who defines right? And if eating cake is wrong, I don't want to be right. We needed our rain gutters cleaned. Yeah, well, hire somebody. Oh, well, aren't we suddenly a Rockefeller? Well, it's better than you killing yourself. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just being dramatic. It's what I do. Ah! Rory! 